OK, multitasking. Well, let's get straight to the bad news. It's a bit of a myth. It's probably slowing down your study that you're trying to multitask. I mean, we're not saying it's a bad idea to have music going in the background or to even get up and dance a bit. Not saying it's a bad idea to be even on Facebook and checking in with your friends, especially ones doing the same assignment as you. And that can be invigorating and give you some more inspiration. But it's not that those things are a bad idea, it's just a really a bad idea to try and do them all at once. Like I say, the human brain's designed to do one thing at a time. Even this idea we have that women can multitask. They might be slightly better at it than the average guy, but their brain is not too different from ours, and so really women can't, from a brain point of view, really multitask either. It's all to do with this part of your brain called the corpus callosum, which is basically like a bridge that joins the left and the right brain. So the information coming from your left brain and the information coming from your right brain joins together in this bridge right down the centre of your brain called the corpus callosum. Now, that's even thinner in a man than it is in a woman. If you think of it as a bridge, a woman's got a fairly sturdy six-lane highway. A man has the equivalent of a swing bridge which means that taking in all the information really puts it under strain. So you'll find your time is much more productive in your study if you set yourself time limits and you focus very clearly on one thing at a time. Maybe you say, right, I'm going to focus on researching this topic for 20 minutes and not be distracted by anything else. And after 20 minutes, I will check in with Facebook and see what my friends are doing, see how they're going. Then I'll focus for another 20 minutes. Then I might stop and listen to my favourite song. Your study will be much more productive doing it that way.